going on guys so as you can tell by the title um shredded journey this is basically mine and lakshmi's um cutting journey just a little bit of background on myself and lakshmi can give you some background um when she comes on the camera in another video or whatever uh but over about a year a little bit over a year maybe 13 or 14 months i went on a dirty i was 140 i went on a dirty bulk um, gained about 40 pounds, then went on a cut over the summer, lost about 20. And since the end of the summer, so September, um, till now, I've been on a pretty lean bulk, gained about 12 to 15. So I'm sitting between 172 and 175 right now. But now it's time for me to actually do a proper cut. I'm looking forward to it because my body fat, I don't think, is too high. I'm probably sitting around 12%, maybe 11%. So it it's not going to be like my first cut where it was just a lot of fat I was losing. I actually think this is when I'm actually going to re reveal and see myself like the gains that I have made over the past, you know, year and a half since I've been really lean. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, seeing depending on how it goes, I might pick a show, a physique show or something. I mean, we'll just see how that goes. So nothing set in stone yet. Um, but the n title New Beginning has a lot of meaning for us personally. Um, this is our last semester at Emory. For those of you who don't know, we're students, we're seniors at Emory. So this is our last um, semester. So, you know, come June, everything's going to be different than the past four years. And really than life has been so far because we've both been in school since, you know, we can remember. Um, but it's also, I, I'm working on a new program um, that I'm creating. Eventually I'm going to make it public, but I want to make sure it's absolutely perfect and it's it's uh incorporating a lot of powerlifting so i'm looking forward to that that's new to me because i've never formally done powerlifting and worked with percentages and stuff like that so i'm reading up on it i'm i'm working on creating a program and lakshmi is probably gonna pick a meet to do you know so that's that's something new and you know I, i'm not thinking of everything right now um because you know how it is on camera you don't want to record like five times but you always end up doing it but as things come it's really just new this channel it's new for this channel we don't usually do vlog style videos but this whole series is going to be more vlog style i want to take you guys we want to take you guys through our day what we're eating you know i may have full day of eating my macros right now are 325 carbs 220 protein and 70 fat so if if i see that people want to see you know what i eat to hit my macros and stuff like that like maybe <coughs> sorry it's cold over here, everyone's sick. By cold, I mean like 40 degrees. Um, so that's not cold for some people. It's freezing for me, coming from Jamaica. But yeah, guys, I just, this is new. Um, this is a new kind of series. The channel really hasn't seen many videos like this, but we'll be putting out two videos a week for sure. If, <coughs> if we see the need for it, we'll put out, we'll try to put out three, you know, time willing and stuff like that but that's basically about it guys i didn't want to talk for too long i just want to introduce this new series and what it's all about and stuff like that i hope you guys can follow me on this journey um follow lakshmi on her journey to cutting and powerlifting, and just grow with us guys that's what this channel is all about is to help viewers understand where we're coming from um we're all you know normal people some of us choose to record some of us you know choose to write things down some of us like to be private so if you ever need extra motivation and stuff like that, that's what we want to be here for. So, I'm about to eat a quick pre-workout snack and then go to the gym. Today's chest and arms. And there's Lakshmi on the camera. Hi. <laughs> I was just doing the intro video. Oh. So, yeah, we're going to do chest and arms. We'll film some of that and we'll see you guys after. Alright guys, so today um, wasn't the main bench press day, it was an accessory day, so we started with incline dumbbell press first for 4 sets and then we went to pause bench, so this is me doing 175, I think I did 3 sets of um, 6 with this, and I'm still working with my percentages and trying to figure out um, how to do it, I've been doing a lot of calculations based on 90% of my 1 rep max, but I'm finding that the weight is too easy and as you can see Lakshmi is doing it and it was a lot easier for her because we did her last set of failure and she got 12 when she was supposed to be going for sets of 6 so I think one adjustment I'm already going to make to the program I was talking about is 
I'm going to start doing the percentages based off your actual max or your training max as opposed to 90% of it. And then I just filmed some other stuff, guys. This is just um, at the end of the workout. So we did some incline press, then we did the pause bench, and we did incline bench, did some decline work, and then we just finished off with a super set of flies um, and Sven press. The Sven press isn't really a movement that you would do to build muscle. It's just a kind of, it's a nice movement to burn out with because <clears throat> you can really get a good contraction. Um, just like people say, posing is really good. It's nice to do exercises where you can really focus on your contraction. So with a spin press, if you don't already know, you literally just take two lighter plates, tens or fives, here I'm using fives, and you just, you're pressing your hands together, trying to squeeze through the plate as you're pressing in and out. So obviously I say it's not a muscle building exercise because you're not even going against gravity. There's really no resistance, but it's just, working on that contraction and squeezing your chest throughout the whole movement and then we finished with chest with this three sets of this exercise and then we went to arms i filmed um this exercise this superset actually because this is what i start my arm workout with on this day and i really like it so the seated curl is something a lot of people don't do with the barbell and really you're stopping right at your knees like you see so you kind of take the cheating part out of it when people like to curl heavy and you take a lot of your forearm out of it and once you hit failure on that you can stand up and you can do a couple cheat curls like i'm doing here or some straight curls some people find it easier um and it's a nice way to extend your set kind of like a double failure type of movement so that's one of my favorite exercises for my biceps if you guys want to try it out and then the last thing i filmed after we finished biceps was triceps i I've been doing, I do floor press on one of my days and then close to the bench on my other days as my first and primary tricep exercise to really help my bench because that's what um, I'm struggling with is my lockout. And I've never filmed my close grip bench uh, until now and I realized that my arms are actually pretty, or my hands are pretty wide. Um, and it, I, in my head, you know when you do an exercise and you think it looks different and then you film it and you see something completely different. Um, but... I, I'll try to move my arms in a little bit, but I still stand by it being an accessory to my bench. I know my elbows are flared out a little bit, but I do believe that doing a close grip bench like this may not be optimal for your triceps, but it's still going to really help your lockout a lot. So those are the workouts I filmed for you guys, and I will see you after the gym. Alright guys, so um, a lot of people like to get their post-workout carbs in. Um, you know whether it's important or not it also fits into people's macros and stuff like that so i just want to show you guys what i usually have just because it's really easy and simple and for some people you know they don't want to actually go and have like a meal you know christian says pineapples you don't want to have like a bag of rice so usually guys i uh, obviously have my mts way or diametized alita depends and then for my carbs what i found to be the easiest thing is just jumbo marshmallows guys because if you do like marshmallows, if you look at the macros on it, it's literally, if this would focus, which I don't know if it is or not. So it's not focusing, but it's basically zero grams of fat and 21 grams of carbs. So two of these marshmallows is 40 grams of carbs, and that's basically it you get your 25 30 grams of protein like or whatever you do and then you get your 40 grams of carbs so that's usually what i have post workout i just got home i'm going to eat that um and then in about an hour i'm going to cook some just some chicken breast and have a bag of rice which actually a lot of people this rice a lot of people you've probably seen have this rice it's a ready rice you just put it in the microwave and the whole bag is five grams of fat, 84 grams of carbs, and eight grams of protein. So there's two servings in the bag, and they come in a bunch of flavors. So that's also really nice to have. And that's about it, guys. Um, I just wanted to say that the, the workout footage, I usually film at LA Fitness and not um, Emery's Gym, but I'm canceling my LA Fitness membership uh, for various reasons. Um, the main one being I just don't like the gym. I don't like working out there. Even though Emery, as you see in the workout clips, and that's what I'm getting to, isn't as nice. It's, it's you know when you find a gym and you feel comfortable there and you, you just lift better there. So I feel comfortable at Emory and that's where I like to do 
my lifting. So that's where I'm gonna be lifting, guys. So for the next few months while I'm still here, I do apologize that the actual, I would say like the gym aesthetics isn't really nice because it's not a very nice gym. So the workout footage, the lighting may be pretty bad, but bear with me. Um, I'm looking forward to going to a nice proper gym once I get out of school, but because it's free, I just want to get my money's worth. And obviously for other reasons, like my friends are there, you know, it's not last semester, like I was saying. So that's about it, guys. This is a pretty short video, but I want to conclude this video here. Um, the next video will be a little bit more interactive, a little bit of other stuff, but because this was the intro video, I just wanted to give you guys a look at what um, this series was going to be about and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first video if you did please share um, this video subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up that really helps the channel grow and I will see you guys in the next video